so it, it was shocking and stark how it happened. I was really studying in Matthew and I just heard, not the audible voice, but I just heard the voice of the Lord say to me, my pattern for you is to adopt. And I remember thinking, what? I mean, it's too early in the morning. I haven't had enough caffeine. I, I can remember calling Doug on the phone. He was in the car and I was like, I was on my way to the radio station and he says to me, what is it? And I'm like, what? What do you mean? Nothing, nothing. There's nothing. And he's like, I know you. What is it? That the very first time when Naomi Grace walked into the room, and here's this child, you know, we've been, we've had her picture, we've been pursuing her, we've been doing all the paperwork, we've been gathering all the finances, we've been doing everything, and then she walks into this room, you know. And adoption is like taking and wearing the heart of God and then like being a vessel where God's love just pours through you and you get to experience really heaven. And one night, very late, our oldest daughter came in to the bedroom and she said, Mom, Dad, she was crying and she said, I cannot go to sleep. She said, every time I close my eyes, I see his face. And she said, I really think that the Holy Spirit wants me to tell you that if you don't adopt him, you're being disobedient. And in the bright light, and he was putting his head back kind of and closing his eyes and he has strong nystagmus. His eyes move, especially in new circumstances and when it's bright. And I thought, he's blind. He's blind and I didn't know he's blind. He's blind. And then I'm like, uh, can I do this? Now, this is my seventh adoption. Seven times. I have prepared, I have fought, I have waited, I have gathered everything needed, I have done the whole thing, and I got there, and the seventh time, I'm scared again. Yeah, adoption is risky. It takes, it takes love, it takes, it takes tremendous risk, but when you see my kids, You see that adoption is not a word or a cause or a calling. Adoption is just about each individual kid and who they can be. And our world needs them. And I'm so, so fortunate that I got to walk alongside them in this journey. I am far more blessed than they have ever been by being my children. You know, we're, we're fools in this. Everything we have ever had, we've invested in adoption. And uh, I had a friend a long time ago who said, you know, uh, couldn't, you know, shouldn't you be investing some in the stock market and things like that? And, and yeah, I understand. Some people, that's what they're called to do with their funds. But I see that we've invested as well. Uh, we haven't invested in the stock market, but we've invested in futures. We've invested in orphan futures and they're performing very well. And I think it's especially beautiful because it was never our idea. We just sort of walked into it and said, okay, Lord, use us. We know we're not big enough for it, but just use us. And that has been a miraculous journey.